Welcome back to the Let's Love Slash Hate Let's Play of the Final Fantasy VII Remake. This is the beginning of Chapter 3. You saw that, right? There's going to be three parts to this chapter because it is a very long one. and there's, there's lots of different types of gameplay in it. It's where the game starts settling in and starts being a game after a long introduction. So the party's arriving back at the Sector 7 slums after the bombing mission at Mako Reactor 1 and escaping through Sector 8. Hot damn, we are good! Yes! Bombs detonated one, members lost zero. And one step closer to a brighter future. Hell yeah! Guys! Lower your voices, huh? People are listening. Says the biggest uh -huh. loudmouth in the game. Hmm. Now get some on, uh, you've earned it. Just be ready for the next mission, all right? Hmm. <laughs> We're back home, home sweet slum, this chapter's called. See you soon. Uh. At Seventh Heaven. You know, where Tifa works. Don't keep her waiting. What she an on-the-nose line that was. You know, where Tifa works. Come on. That's like, just shoddy writing. This is the suicide couple from the original. Let's go someplace a little less crowded. Hey, except the only place around here is the train graveyard, which everyone says is haunted. But that's cool, right? Uh, All right, so super weird for an inexplicably in the first game that couple if you talk to them three times they like committed suicide together i and and it was really jarring and out of place i put him in charge of my stand i told him son the goal isn't to make a fortune it's to make people happy someone's having a bad day we have just arrived at, uh, arrived back at sector 7 the slums of sector 7 we're just walking through the environment here giving you a little bit of a flavor I mean, basically, N every NPC you see has some sort of line if you stick around and listen to it. Love this poster. So, <laughs> welcome to the game. It's a hallway. Basically like Final Fantasy X and Final Fantasy XIII. It's a big hallway. It was completely insane. There's, a, there's all this beautiful visual uh, stuff and settings, but it, it, it's very limited. Huh. Mako is the lifeblood of the planet. Yeah, the hell it is. Goddamn eco warriors with their dumbass posters. I tear them down and they're back up inside of an hour. Like I've got nothing better to do. I mean, look at all that steel work. You trying to tell me that's not progress? <laughs> what the? You okay, buddy? Okay, remember my cloud freaks out and has a weird moment Mako jumping, counter? Huh? Figures. That did not count. I'm only counting it when it's the party. And see how I'm not acknowledging those things? You those again. things, ah, oh, they, they ruin the game. And there was no point of them being right there. That hot shower can't come soon enough. I can barely tell my skin from all the ash and sweat. When I get back, it's refueling time. And you, Jesse? I don't know. Out how I screwed up? These two are funny. Um, excuse me? Uh, Due to an emergency, entry into this area is prohibited. Sorry for the inconvenience. You call that a warning? No, sir! This is... This, these guys are cool. They have a little arc uh, throughout this game. In accordance with emergency regulations, entry into this area is prohibited. Please, leave at once. Still too nice! Okay, so you heard the, the parties. Wedge's whole thing is... He's fat... So he talks about food every single time he talks. It's ridiculous. Look at this environment. It's beautiful. I, I, I think they won't go on talking until I look at them. 
Maybe even get closer. That's weird. This area is off limits. Turn around and leave at once. If you don't, I'll have no choice but to use force. Now you're getting the hang of it. Those guys were like that in the original game too. So that's cool they carried that forward. So the suicide couple is weird. I don't know why they had that, but it's kind of cool that they have a not. Unfortunately, they do not commit suicide in this one. Now, here we are at the Sector 7 slums proper. It's a big hallway. Just so you know. Spoiler alert. You know, there's 7th Heaven. You know, where Tifa works? Like, ah, why even have that kind of line, right? It's a cool environment, though. They spend a lot of time and effort. Glad I got today off. But, you know, I think about games that have cool, like, city environments, and they do open world a lot better than this game. And they're way more expansive, and not just hallways. What the? That's where I work. No freaking way. Put that fire out, idiots! I was there yesterday. What do you know? That ain't happening. Okay, so we're coming up on Tifa. Thanks. <gasps> Marlene. <laughs> Daddy, you're home. That's right, Angel. I Welcome am. back. <laughs> Have you been a good girl? Let's just take a moment and, and talk about how ridiculous oh, that did, was. Did, did Barrett Barrett well, came from well. the same place you did? Did he walk right past his kid and Tifa so he could come up on the left? Where'd you get that? I can't remember the last time I saw a real one. He would have had to just walk right past him. Look at Cloud. Huh? <sighs> how sweet. When did you get so thoughtful? A guy can change. It has been five years. Cloud. Huh? Plays it perfectly with the ladies throughout this, to talk to Barry. this whole game. He right. is a straight up baller. You gotta love his attitude towards the women. I mean, when he was talking to Aerith and Aerith was kind of throwing herself at him in the last chapter, he was all kind of like, "You don't want any part of me. I'm, I'm, I'm dangerous." Oh, that just gets a woman to like you. Same thing with Tifa. Hey, here's a flower. Do you mind keeping Marlene company until I'm done with this? She asked him. Specifically to yeah, take care of Marlene, which doesn't need to be done. She's with her dad. And he goes over and does what you ask. Uh. That scared her for some reason. Hey! What the hell do you think you're doing scaring my daughter like that? That is so... Daddy says never talk contrived and bullshit. Like, all he did was, oh, uh, and... and say that. The kid freaks girl, out, and then Barrett, for, without having any sense that, you know that Cloud was doing anything do? wrong, just turns they around and pushes him. On time. Come on. But I'm not tired. I want to talk some more. There's got to be some story there. Mm, I mean, all right, but just this one. Th that is not a mixed race child. Uh, so then, what can I get you? My money. I'm still waiting on it. Uh, right. About that, we should talk outside. <sighs> oh, yeah. So, obviously, she needs to take him outside to hand him the money. Um, Daddy, did the people who died all return to the planet? Of course. Before we get on to money, there's an empty apartment in a place just down the road. It's nothing fancy, but... I was thinking you could stay there for now. The landlady's a big friend of the cause, so you wouldn't even have to pay rent. Sound good? Sure does. Thanks. <laughs> Follow me then. So Tifa's great. They're childhood How friends. Was it up on the plate? He, he moved away there from their hometown of Nibelheim that you saw earlier Sorry and in flames earlier. Wow, it was shake. wrong of me to it put you in danger crazy. like that. I, I promise that I won't do it again. Dangerous part of the job. Don't worry about me. I'll try not to. Always happy to help stick it to Shinra. Not good at all. They grew up together. They were next door neighbors, in fact. So you make nice with everyone. And so you got this. You have to walk here, and you get a good sense of the flavor of the town, the hallways that you will be spending the next oh, two, two and a half hours in, going back and forth through these hallways. 
At least they look nice. And they're well done. They're well populated. Lots of voice acting. I saw Sector 8 on the news. It was like a war zone. The news is just another Shinra mouthpiece. They'll spread whatever lies Shinra tells them to. So, it wasn't that bad? It was. Oh, right. Cloud has such excellent voice acting. And here we are. Good old Stargazer Heights. You're on the second floor. Room 201 here is where I sleep. Don't have time for much else, what with 7th Heaven and all. <laughs> Not even time to decorate. Does that make any sense? She works at a bar, so she she doesn't have time to decorate her little apartment. Here's your room, Like 202. Like that's so busy. Don't worry, I already told the landlady about you. You saw how many people you did? were occupying yes? that bar. None. Oh, I mean, I told her I had a friend keeps looking her so for a busy. place to stay. Now, obviously, she Was does stuff for much? Avalanche, too, but... No. It's fine. And this? That one's, uh... Know what? It's getting late. I'll introduce you tomorrow. You're acting weird, Tifa. Normal people don't aren't so evasive like that. So you get to live right next door to Tifa for free? Look at this. She takes you inside. It's a little mm. bare. Get my hopes up But here. should be enough to get you through the night. If you want anything else, we can always there get it. There is one thing. My money. You guys owe me 2000 remember? Where the fuck is my money? I do. And we'd love to settle up, especially since this was your first job for us, but... Give daddy his money. That's right. That's it? 500? Sorry. We spent the rest preparing for the mission. That really is it. But not for long. I'm collecting money for filters tomorrow, so I can pay you after. That's right. Get your ass back out in the street and get daddy his money. You're sure about that? Of course. As long as you help, that is. Wait. Then I'd have to pay you for that, too. Never mind. No, 2000's enough. That's what we agreed on, so that'll be the price. With what you gave me, that leaves 1500 You're the best. I'll see you bright and early at the bar, then. Thanks again and for And I like how he insists. He's Sweet not, tight. like, falling for her bullshit. He's like, there is one more thing. Where the fuck is my money? Like, he's not going to just be, oh, thank you for hooking me up, and oh, you're pretty, so I'll give you a break. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Cloud doesn't play it like that, all right? He is a straight-up gangster. Pip Daddy Cloud. <laughs> Making fun of human trafficking is hilarious. Guess it's time for introductions. Hey, you okay in there? Oh. Coming in. But he's not a bad guy. The landlady asked me to check on him now and then to make sure he's okay. Can I ask you to do the same? Sure. So, they plant seeds in this game that they do not answer. I mean, there have to be multiple more games. There better be more games to this. And it scares me that it's just called the Final Fantasy VII Remake. It's not Part 1 or Final Fantasy VII Remake Midgar or something. No, this, arguably, they might completely change it going forward. You know, the next thing that would happen if you were playing the uh, remake of the original would you'd go to Calm Town. It's a nice, nice, beautiful town, one of my favorites, and hear the the story uh, 
of, of Cloud and Sephiroth from Cloud's perspective. Um, I'm afraid that may not happen. They're talking about maybe doing completely different stuff and not being bound to the constrictions of the original script, which is such crap. Okay, so just briefly, those whispers, those things that I hate so goddamn much, are trying to keep the story the way it was in the original. So this remake is like, it's like New Game Plus or something. It's so stupid. Well now, you must be Cloud. I'm Marl, your landlady. Why don't they just do a remake? Why do they gotta like, wink and nod to the audience and be like, we know you've already played the game. You don't want a beat for beat remake. No matter, all kinds come through with all kinds of reasons. If you ever need an ear to bend, I'll lend you mine. Can be about anything, even Tifa. What's she to you? The granddaughter I never had. And if you hurt her, I'll take it out of your hide. You hear me? Loud and clear. Good. Now you'd best get a move on to Seventh Heaven. She's got a head start on you and then some. So she's actually really nice. She lets you live there for free. Is your face always that pale? You're not getting enough sleep. Come on, quit lollygagging and go to Seventh Heaven already. I, I just can't understand why. Why in God's name to to the did they feel the need? Basically, Cloud and Aerith are playing New Game Plus. They see flashes of the future. They know what's going to happen. And, and the characters, by the end, are acknowledging that the Whispers are trying to keep the story the same? Does that make any sense at all? Everyone's worried they're gonna run out of money soon. Wait till you see the Sad end. Day. It's just a shit show. Morning. Hey. Just so you know, Marlene's still asleep. <sighs> Let's get down to business, shall we? Huh? These water filters won't replace themselves. <laughs> Although the next batch probably could, if Jessie put her mind to it. <sighs> Most every home in the area has one. Folks love them because they practically eliminate the rotten egg smell. Honestly, they make us more money than this place. And it's easy money, too. We bring new filters, collect the old ones, and get paid. What? <sighs> Give me a break. I'm not a salesman. I'm a soldier. Which is why no one will refuse to pay. What do you say? <sighs> Please? <sighs> Let's get this over with. Great. And while we're at it, I'll give you the grand tour. All the items you can want, straight from the plate. Hey there. Here to change out your water filter. Tifa, baby, how you doing? Been waiting for you to... Wait, who's here? Cloud's in charge of collections. He'll take your money. Sounds like a pretty sweet gig. If you ever need someone to fill in, I'm your man. In your dreams, maybe. Cloud is great. Huh? I mean, Cloud? look at that douchebag with uh, his haircut. Since we're here, maybe we should do a little shopping. Not cool. Suppose I could take a look. Quiffs are not cool. Actually, they're alright. Thanks. If you're ever in the market for anything else, drop on by. Especially if Teeth is with you. We'll see you around, okay? See, that guy's not playing it cool. See, changing. Cloud is all like, he wasn't even pretending! To listen to her. He was groaning and acting, you know, he wasn't oh, acting interested. He's a regular. Stock up here and he might throw in a freebie or two. For you, maybe. Well, Learn from Cloud. He knows what he's doing. Nicer. To get free shit? He has all the ladies throwing oh, themselves God. at him throughout this game. <laughs> Our next stop is Stargazer Heights. Landlady's a client. Just met her. Jesse, Tifa, you know Aerith. Remember... She's a good friend of Avalanche, so be nice. Probably Please. Marl, too, the landlady. Oh, I bet she she Just wants some of it. If rich people start thinking it's safer down here than on the plate. Apparently it was done by a terrorist group called Avalanche. Don't don't seem too interested or eager. Let them come to you. Hey Marl. Got some filters for ya. Tifa! My dear dear girl! Oh, what's he doing here? Working? Be nice. <laughs> <laughs> Cloud's hoping you have collections. Attitude, you better take care of her. I'm pretty good at taking care of myself, you know. 
that I they do. stuck they struck a good Still balance of him like making you. him no charm, sort of no wit, sarcastic sword, but not really but no skills. outright mean I've got skills until Be one nice. part you will see later I'm doing my best you're looking awfully glum are you getting enough sleep a good long rest to cure anything I tell you a tried and true lesson for life on the ground floor am I right that you are now your money Thanks, so Mom. she lets him live there for free yourself. Don't do anything and, then, and she's still got to pay 200 for these water filters. You'd better not cause Tifa any heartache. Was Mara's great. She helped get me side. set up back in the day. Been been here a while now. Five years, oh, give or take. But, but never mind that. We've got to get you your money. Last stop is the weapons. So these slums are the cool looking. Well done. Nice environment. It, it feels alive. Maybe too alive. Look how long it takes to load. Hey! That last filter didn't do shit! We're so sorry about that. Hopefully this one will work better. Hopefully. Save your excuses and get out! Alright. If you could just settle your bill, we'll be on our way. This is bullshit. The hell? You charging me for your busted ass goods? My associate handles payment disputes. What? Think you can mosey up in here and have it your way? Pretty please. <laughs> Thank you very much. Seeing as we're done with our rounds and you've got a small fortune now, why not take a gander at There the was no place? indication well, that he was lying about it. When will Barrett be back with the rest? Before we open up tonight, he, he, They didn't work, and she yet, acknowledged so. it. But still, do do? not just Don't really collect know. it, threatened his life, case, essentially. I've got a suggestion. With a violent mercenary. It? With if a huge fucking sword on his back. And you're going to need to start making connections. So... It's not what you Again, know, going you know, back to you know? Avalanche isn't very nice. Yeah, it's very hard to like these are your heroes. Connections get these are your playable jobs, characters. Your rep. And, more and it's not just that they're you, you know eco terrorists um, bombing hmm. uh, power plants and killing innocent people and, and really feeling some remorse about it but not really people. caring enough to not do it. Yeah, okay. But didn't see anybody at the office. So let's head They're unlikable in this sense. I mean, no way she's straight up shaking him down. With a weapon of your own. I don't know. Can I don't remember Avalanche solution? being like thugs. Like, they're not the goddamn La Cosa Nostra, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to talk to the Neighborhood Watch. Huh. Didn't know you were holding down the fort. Huh? These losers. Oh, hey, Cloud. Huh. Looking to join the Neighborhood Watch? That depends. What does this Neighborhood Watch do? Uh, lots of stuff, really. But our top Nothing. priority is taking care of any beasts that wander into town. That and teaching the locals how That's to why we're sitting themselves. in here like on boxes the only playing with our one guns. Who will look out for you is you. Cloud's a great fighter, but only we know that. If no one knows him, no one will hire him. Thought if he joined the watch, he could get his name out there. That would work for everybody. Truth be told, we could really use your help. We can't pay you in gill, but we'll work something out. For example, aha, uh -huh. what about your sword? I could mod it for you. No thanks. It's fine just the way it is. What, you some kind of purist? I know I'd never pass up a chance to improve my gear. Come on, at least let me show you how it's done. So this is where you learn how to mod <laughs> your weapons. And this is a cool feature. You kind of, you get to give your, uh, you get skill points and then you get to upgrade your weapon with Nice little perks here. So, um, we don't need the tutorial. I'll just show you what to do here. You go to upgrade weapons, and he's got 10 skill points to spend. Um, right now he's got four different things that he could spend them on. He can get two of them, because uh, they're four apiece. So what are we looking at? Attack power, uh, plus five. That is definitely a good one to get. And then I also saw magic plus five. Um, it, we can skip that for now, because I'd rather have 100 HP. Um, so let's go with that one and that's how you mod weapons and it's just a cool way to you know kind of have some way to have some control over your leveling up it's like the crystarium from 13 
but All set. not your whole you leveling say, up. You'll have to try it out to appreciate Just the your weapon, like some Thanks. extra boosts and stuff. So <laughs> I like it. We'll do you one better. Spread the word to everyone who listen about the new Merkin town. Between him and Wedge, there isn't anyone they don't know. I'll march through the streets singing your praises, even on an empty stomach. God, so I hate Wedge. Where he's whole, his whole thing is being fat. Scrap and and every time, this Good is honey. like, I've been hey, talking Cal, over most I'll of them, but there's already been four no, or five I've hungry slash food references. Way, I mean, we don't. And, 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 and Biggs' whole thing is <laughs> showers. There's I a lot about showers. Tifa talks anyone. about showers a lot in this game, too. So, all right, we got Tifa on our, in our party now. Let's talk to this guy and buy huh? some weapons. I ain't got nothing for a punk ass bitch like you. Get on out of here. Right? I agree with him. Fuck Cloud and Tifa for doing that. Good luck, Tifa. So now you're doing some jobs to, um, you know, these are side quests. These are entirely optional. You don't have to do any of them. And. And the more we pile up, the more they show up. So they're off to set, you know, kill some monsters in, in the Scrap Boulevard, it's called. It's kind of funny. They didn't do well in this fight. So he's getting <laughs> clawed. He's being held. Uh, Tifa is a uh, fucking badass in this game. Her fists are the deadliest weapons in the game, and she's so fast and awesome. Look at Cloud's getting his ass kicked. Stock can't do anything. Look at her. Martial arts. Let's finish it off together. Listen to this. Wow, so that's what a soldier looks like in action. This was just a warm up. <laughs> I'll bet. Let's keep that. She it. does better than him in this. You're welcome. Yeah. So how side quests work in this game is basically they make you go every everywhere twice if you want to complete them. This is the first mission that sends you there, and then after you do a few more, some more will open up and you'll come back here. And all the environments are like this. You, you, you just, they just reuse assets and send you back into the same place to kill uh, something else. I actually don't mind that, because I like this. You, you get a chance to, to play and... Obviously, again, I've already talked about how they have to reuse assets. They really want to... They spend a lot of time and money on these environments. So they are doing everything to... to it's a little surprising. I'll say pad the game. Five years now. If you don't look out for yourself, no one else will. By the way, that one's going to be on the test. This is a lesson? Gotta learn if you're going to stick around. Okay, let's wrap this up. So you're beating all the... Uh, all the animals in this area, you'll have to come back later to fight another beast. And, and that's just how side quests work in this game. So, if you want, I could totally see only doing, like, the first half of these types of missions. You'll, you'll end up doing this two other, two or three other times in the game. It's over. All right. I think that might be the last of them. They won't stay gone for long. Of course not. Even so, folks will be grateful for the peace and quiet in the meantime. A win's a win, you know? True. Trust me, it'll do wonders for your rep. Right, let's go check in with Biggs and Wedge. Back already? Got every last one too. Now the slum should be safe. You guys are machines. Good job. Meanwhile, we told everyone we could about you. They haven't fucking left. So I heard. It's been five goddamn minutes. They didn't move. They didn't tell anybody did anything. Tell it's all right. All you gotta do is keep up the good work. It'll pay off soon enough. I promise. How's the sword, by the way? I mean, they're just sitting good. there. They're not doing anything. Neighborhood watch. Glad to hear it. Seems like the perfect fit for you. Yeah. We've been through a lot. <laughs> Oh, you okay? okay? This is this is number four. I'm fine. Been meaning to ask. After you left the village, it's a long story. I've got time. Why don't you tell me all about it while we try to wrestle up some more work for you? 
That sounds great. I'll come too. Oh, uh, no, you won't. What? Run along now, you two. Uh, sorry, Go on. maybe uh. next time. Huh? No fair. Uh. Think about it for a second. They haven't seen each other in years. You'd be a third wheel. Uh. Worst <sighs> character ever. Hey, before we get back to it, why don't you check out the weapons? No need. Come on, the dealer's probably heard all about you by now. Might treat you better. I don't know about that. The same dealer you hear someone got that less than 10 minutes ago, Boulevard? you threatened his, no, his life. You went out and did one you brief know, mission. Now everyone in town is talking about you. It doesn't look that and he does a 180 like this. Hold up. Heard there's a merc that'll take on any monster. You the man? Word spreads fast around here. What if I am? Sorry about before. I get antsy when business is slow. <sighs> Man in your line of work needs weapons, no? Why not try that one on for size? Yours on the house. Badass like you rocking my weapons is good advertising. Think about it. Fine. Gave him a free sword. Or if you want to take a look at something else. <sighs> Just a look. Come on, game. You can do better than that. Since you've got yourself a new weapon, let's see if we can't put it to good use. Come on, let's go chat up Weimer. Who? The guy who tracks all the requests that come to the watch. You never know, could toss some work your way. Where's he at? All right. Oh, he so be back at the we are by now. at the end of the first part of chapter three. We have just opened up all these side missions. So we will come back next time on Let's Love and Hate the Final Fantasy VII Remake.